Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So once again, two people jump ahead of the uh, last place team there. Anaheim getting pushed back to three. Nashville, New Jersey move up as we prepare for this draft after a disappointing but also inspiring playoff journey. Sydney Crosby retires with over 2,000 points. Age 42. Stamkos also retires in Vegas. Goodrow, Zuccarello. Oh, Tarasenko. Huh? He was in Pittsburgh. Shen was a free eight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Quite a few retirements here. The name's going now. Definitely pretty nuts. As we get further and further along. In this franchise mode. We'll check out goalies here. Talbot, Mrazek, Allen. And Ranta. Alright. I wonder if we had any coaching retirements. Doesn't look like it. So that's nice. Alright. We'll go to the uh, pre-draft interviews here. Now even with uh, pretty much completely auto-scouting. Could be a high elite, but who knows? More than likely high starter, as we've seen. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. A and we found him. Meanly goals. Yeah, so Auto Scout did pretty damn good. Even a possible medium elite right there. Kind of looking like it the way he's 19 with 5-year ETA. Uh, just the one low elite way back here. 19 4-year ETA. So it's not awful, but. And that guy has a good chance, I think, too. That guy's pretty much a guaranteed low elite here late. NH, uh, maybe. Oh, man. That guy would be pretty good. He would indeed be pretty damn good. Especially considering we... Yeah. Oh, yeah. He would... That guy would be really, really good. Yeah, I'm going to interview him because I want to know everything. He's definitely, definitely going to be our pick in the first round if we can snap. Oh, wait, we don't have any <laughs> That's right. Well, if we were to trade up and move some things. Oh, yeah. We do have some excess uh, prospects, guys we didn't play, etc. And uh, this guy right here is someone that I'm not going to miss out on. You know, considering we have Warensky still on that left side, we're still hoping for Saprikin, the OFD, to be able to jump up. But he hasn't shown a hell of a lot of uh, growth so far. And either way, he could, you know... He could even slime top six. Yeah, I'm just... Top six with power play time. Not the greatest way to use the OFDs, but could be a possibility. All right. Anything else I want to interview here? There's a gem. Meh. Value pick, essentially. And not much in the way of top fours. I don't know if I want to interview anything else. Could interview this guy to see if he's a low elite, but I... Doubt he's going to be in any way better than this guy. So I think that's likely going to be it for our interviews here. Yeah. I don't see anything else I'm really uh, catching my interest here. So that'll be our sole interview. All right, yep, we know Carolina won the cup because we lost to them. Vancouver got the presidents. And we made it there, but we couldn't couldn't get over the hill. Bedard got the Art Ross as well as the Hart. Hughes three times in a row with the Norris. Bedard with the Lady Bing. Kondratiev with the Calder. Svechnikov got the Conn Smythe. Kachetkov with the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. Uh, whoever the hell Karkner is. <laughs> Not the Karkner of old for the Masterton. Vegas' coach with the Jack Adams. Rossi got the Selkie. 
Bedard with the Ted Lindsay and the Maurice Richard. Whole lot of individual hardware, but we knocked him out of the playoffs. But once again, the Springfield Thunderbirds win the Calder Cup four in the last five years. Ah, uh, if only. If only we could have that in the NHL. But it's honestly a lot easier to build an AHL team. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so. Let us get into the draft. And as I said, we do have no first or second round selection. But. I say with what we have, we can move up for that. It'll have to it'll have to cost us one of our picks, because we need to move at least one of our picks. We'll hold on to the six and seven. We could probably move the five. That's what I'm thinking. The five and something to get the guy we want in the first round. Who's projected at I think twenty-nine, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, 29, so we're wanting, probably want to go to, like, the 25, at least, if something like that's available. So that'll cost us. Uh, shit. 28 is not safe. Ugh. 22 seems a bit much, but if, if it's on the block, it'll be easier to trade for than the other ones. That's for damn sure. So, ooh, question is... Valesi's a good option, but he doesn't have as much value as I was hoping. Mainly because we have three three snipers on our NHL roster right now. Valesi is not exactly needed. 66. Oh, Tenkrat. 66 at 20. He's, yeah. Probably throw him and Valesi in there. Let's start with him. We're going to need both of them. Neither of them are on the block, but. Let's throw them both in there. And then chalk up that fifth as well. Yeah. And that should easily get that. I can maybe pick up something from next season. Not going to get a three. I'll try, but there's no way. Eh, there might be. A bit off, so I can get a four. I don't really, I don't think I have any junk to throw in. I've dra we've drafted extraordinarily well. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> fucking Agostini. <laughs> Can we finally get rid of this guy? Because we're not going to sign him, and he'll have to get signed this year. There we go. Sure, I actually got a three for next year. So I'll take that in a heartbeat. And I did use Valesi in the AHL this season, but again, he was pretty much on the block for a while, in my mind. Simply because we have already an excess of snipers. Well, not an excess. We have what we need, essentially. And all of them are in really, really good shape in where they are. Obviously, we got a first liner, a second liner, and a third liner. <laughs> and who knows? That third liner may become better than Varlamov. But that's going to be what we do here. Let's see what goes in the top five. 83, sniper in the center position. 82, power forward. 79, 78, and back up to an 81 with another center sniper. Or Montreal, good pick for them. That's it. I don't know if we'll see an overall jersey overall jump. It's even got an X factor. Sick pickup for the Sharks. Are they ever going to be good? <laughs> Let's just uh, move up to our pick here at the 22. We'll look back at what else went. See if there's a medium elite steal. Doesn't look like it, but some decent overalls in there. Yeah, a couple different good overall positions. But no medium elites. We will get ourselves a low elite with this selection. And call her a day. Because this guy's guaranteed to have an X factor. I mean, he's showing gold, which means he should have... I've never seen someone show gold and then not at least have an X Factor. So we're going to get Joseph Barnaby here. He'll be high 70s, not technically NHL ready, but that's all right. Obviously, 78 overall DFD. And yeah, okay, the, <laughs> the Relentless is weird, but stick him up is really good. Relentless is bizarre on a DFD, but hey, he's sick. 
He's actually a decent skater. Starts with okay discipline and, of course, good defensive stats to start off. 78 is... I actually was expecting to be like 76, 77, so even better than I was expecting. Already listed as depth. Will likely start him in the AHL, though. Or if he's... I can't remember. He's, he's either American or Canadian. So, maybe an exemption or maybe uh, USA. And we'll have him on the AHL team. Okay, well that's our first selection here, and our next picks are all the way in the third. I don't even think I'm really going to be able to, like, well, like, I can maneuver around. I don't know if I bother. This guy's not worth going for. Yeah, it's decent trade value, but it's more of a headache than it's worth, to be honest. Yeah, so we can get these three guys. i take a blind pick here or there, I think. Well, these two are our blind picks, 84 and 90. Should be good value. Well, we have to maneuver to at least get one of them. Yeah, because we do not. We have something for the 84, but we have nothing for the 90. So this would be the 84. Let's just go for this pick right here from New York. Oh, wait, no, that'd be the... Yeah, that's right, I had to 70-something. Can go a little bit further back. Not that it really matters. Because this pick's what? The 74, yeah. See if I can get him. Uh, the guy at 80 or whatever he was at. Ah, right, whatever, I'll just go for this pick. Just go, go very early, who the heck cares? Which, I should be able to move one of my thirds. Let's say this one. And I don't have any more junk. The six I'd like to hold on to, but it can be a four. So if I'm trading two picks, I can get another one back. Probably just pick up their seven. All right. So that's taken care of. That should be just about everything I'm after. <laughs> yeah. I'll again, I'll miss out on that top 6, but I'm not I'm not even moving for him. It's not really an interest for me. So yeah, let's just go up to our next pick here at 74. We'll scroll back, see what the heck went. Nothing... Okay, that guy's decently... Or decent. How about the second round? We didn't see anything there. Ooh! Winger Playmaker, top six. Not bad for half enough to the Flames. Uh, wow! Dude, this is a killer draft for the Sharks. Nothing too crazy yet. Or really at all. So no medium elites yet, which leads me to believe that we're in the right range, if there are going to be any that appear. So we'll grab the uh, 84 right here. Hope he's actually high elite. That would be incredible. He is. Wow. <laughs> 48 overall high elite. Or Adrian. That's the freaking third Tucker we have on our roster now. We have Ariel Tucker, Adrian Tucker, and Tyler Tucker? I don't know. The other one. The depth piece. Pretty decent though, I would say. Up to the 79 now. Another top four went. Not bad. And that, that, ooh, that would actually make me wonder about this guy actually being an elite. I don't think he will. Well, he's 19. Yeah, he's got he's got the age thing going for him. So that's the reason I think he might still be. Johan Sonnenberg, get on this team. Yep. 54-19, but medium elite. So we'll take it. Beauty. Our next pick's the 95, which we can get the next on our list. Uh, starting goaltender. 
makes me wonder about the guy I'm going to grab next. Although, was he guaranteed? I think he's actually guaranteed. Oh, yeah, he's 100% guaranteed. So, I could technically get him with the next pick, but why bother? Unless there's something. No, I can still get that guy. Well, oh, this guy. 20. For your ETA. Oh. Yeah. That might be worth taking a gamble on. Yeah, that might be worth taking the gamble on. He's near enough where I think it could... Yeah, it could be it. I'm going to go for Jaden Clark here. Just to take a gamble. Nah. Okay. Didn't work out. That's alright. I think it was still worth trying for him simply because the age bracket sort of matched up the eta definitely matched up with who we just picked right here but it wasn't meant to be this time all right up to the 119 now where we will grab the goalie unless he went he did not nothing super interesting we're finding our scouts, even auto scout, they just found what we needed. All right, let's grab Joel Kane here. He's not great or anything. Twenty years. I mean, at least he's four years ETA. But yeah, there you go. Fifty-eight. Oh yeah, we had two in a row. So if there was another blind pick, I might want to take this guy. Twenty. Same thing. 18 year old I'm less excited about simply because that guy's also 18 if I'm going for this guy's 19 what's his ETA four year this guy actually is the better bet than this guy because we picked a 20 year old last time so let's go for Jaden Lang here and hope no bottom six all right a couple blind picks they didn't work out but still happy with the last one all right and now we should have two picks left and we'll grab the two uh Guys we think are going to be low elites. Or we hope. I don't think I've seen a single low elite appear yet besides the one we grabbed. Yeah. I saw a high fringe right there. That's not horrible. Yeah, nothing in the five, really. That's why we usually... Tr I, feel, I feel like f fifth round picks are better than sixes or sevens to trades because the fifth rounds are just uh, oftentimes no man's land. No medium elites and no low elites. <laughs> okay, so we're going to grab Mallet here. And the, eh, oh, that Ovechkin guy is kind of late, but it is the same age type thing with the ETA. No, this guy's actually better ETA. He is much, much later, but I could maybe find something better. I don't know if our next pick will be in range. I might just want to pick the guys I have pinned instead. Oh no, we have three more picks. Okay. Could theoretically kind of get everyone. Hmm. They're all 18. He doesn't look as good now, because this guy cannot be a low elite. Maybe I should go... Uh, yeah, I might want to just go later. Pretty much as late as possible? Yeah. It's kind of looking that way. Hmm. In this range, it almost seems like the 20-year-old would be the best bet. The ETA doesn't make sense. That makes no sense, but he's he's still he's still an anomaly here. So I'm gonna go for Damian Lamb here. Nope. Damn. I was hoping. Ah, there's one. But he's, oh, he's 18 with five-year ETA. Son of a bitch. Stuck in the middle of other guys with, like, five-year ETA who are top nines and stuff. Damn. Well, that's a good one for Cal Calgary. 
All right, missed out on him. That's okay. We have at least one guarantee here, which we'll take right now. Mallet, and then I'll take a gamble on Ovechkin still, I think. Because with the ETA difference, where he's ranked, that kind of would make sense if he is actually low elite. So 58, low elite. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck that he makes it. Whoa! We f we did it. We found one. I okay. This is the first time that I have seen this in a long, long, long time. An elite goalie in the seventh round. Holy crap! I haven't seen this in honestly years of iterations of NHL. You would see this a lot more when like they first changed the draft and the scouting, but then the last three at least years you wouldn't see this. Holy crap. Well, we just saw it. Sick. Super, super sick. Okay, let's just grab this guy. I don't have high, high hopes that he's a low elite, but I'm hoping. Yuri Ovechkin. He is not. Low six. Power forward. And with the last pick, Carolina gets a 70. <laughs> All right. So there we are. We traded up for Barnaby, who's really, really sick. We got some good stuff. Some misses here and there. I'd say it's a pretty, it's a pretty good draft, but like average by my standards <laughs> compared to the AIs who suck at everything. All righty. So done and dusted. HL is so he's good enough now that I can keep. Yeah, like teaching theoretically could be better. But we'll do the trick with him. I might be firing Nevins and looking for a better third. And I know some people are still saying, like, <laughs> don't go triple generalist anymore. I'll look and see if I want to change it. But, like, at the same time, dude, we just went to the Stanley Cup Finals. <laughs> so, oh my god, this guy's up to a C-. minus. I kind of don't want to lose him. If he's getting better like that, yeah. Um, I sh I'll have to do this trick. And I'll actually max him out. I actually really don't want to lose him. Because if they go to free agency, they could change what their specialty is. Like, he can move off of goalie coach. I think. I think we've seen... Yeah, we've, we've definitely seen that before. Or guys who go to free agency keep the teaching skill, but then they change up what they uh, what they coach. Like, their, uh, their strategies and whatnot. So we want to try to avoid that. Keeping all the scouts. Scouting team is what it is at this point. Clearly decent enough. They found some good stuff just auto-scout the whole way, so. Alrighty. Lindstein. He's the big one. God damn, man, we have so many good. I want him to, like, carry AHL. <laughs> Just, uh, Lindstein's probably going to want way too much. Oh, my God. We do one more year and we can tactically afford it, but... Saprikin so needs to jump or I might trade him. He has been a huge, huge letdown. Sometimes defensemen, you know, pr uh, develop later, but we're still waiting for him to, like, grow at all during the season. He has yet to do that. He has only done off-season jumps. I believe we drafted him at, like, 76 or 77, too. It, it has not been good for Sabrikin. Barnaby is... That's Halifax, right? Doesn't show me the flag, but I'm pretty sure he's an exemption. Either way, I'm going to sign him. <laughs> Maybe it isn't. It's so, I, I, It might actually be a European thing, but I don't think so. Okay, well, we'll go to all expiring here. Probably some guys to let go of. Yeah, just because we got... A lot of entry levels here. Yeah, 
And I might as well keep them all. And we'll get rid of some other stuff. So there you go. That was a bunch of forwards and one defenseman. So who are we getting rid of? Unfortunately, some of the guys we traded for to be those good defensive pieces did not work out. That's just how she goes sometimes. I don't actually think I need to get rid of a defenseman. I felt like I didn't have one, but we'll see. Got to get rid of a couple of forwards here. That's for sure. Uh, one of them can be Robertson. The other one's going to be O'Reilly. Yeah, he's great defensively. He's just simply, he's not going to make it. He's pretty much stagnated. So we can get rid of O'Reilly, which really sucks, man. Like his defensive skills are really good. He's got no offense to speak of. A really hard but completely inaccurate shot. I just, defensive specialist, sure, but I just don't see him growing four, three, four, five overall in his remaining years. Just don't see it. Burns. Uh, yeah, again, I'll, I'll count my defensemen. But yeah, I'm going to let go of O'Reilly. Engfist, we're obviously holding on to. Yeah. Let's do two years. Get the rest of his uh, RFA stuff. Tucker, we're going to hold on to. He's a great depth piece. He really is. And he, well, it's not going to show me, but he fits in pretty much any, everywhere on this. Oh, man, he wants like a two-way deal. We're not going to give you a two-way. I'm not, I don't plan on sending him down. He wants league minimum for two years. That's incredible. We're going to need to start saving that money, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Burns would be the one I let go of. If I were to let go of either of them. No, neither of them are very good. They're both AHLers. Their defensive awareness is just too low. <sighs> Do I have to get rid of Keskimeki? Yeah, kind of. I mean, we're sort of short on centers, but we do need to get rid of some people. I'm in advance a day here. Yep, there you go. The trick worked with him, and the trick worked with him. So there you go. And scouts. Ah. Okay, Tucker rejected. Didn't want League Man. That's okay. <laughs> we'll bump him up. He's well worth it. 900k. We'll go up slow with him. I'm not gonna, just going to offer him a million. We'll try. We'll see what we can nickel and dime from here on out. Yeah, 44 contracts. Again, some of them might be exemptions. Or some of them might stay exemptions too. Like the 19 year olds. Lindstein is a tough one. I have the money for him right now though. Keep around this guy because... Oh yeah. We can keep him as RFA. Yeah, I still don't know about Keskimeki. Ah, uh, Leanders. Don't know if he's making it, which is, again, kind of another letdown. We drafted him high overall. <laughs> Relatively high overall. Expecting him to at least get to back up, and it, he might not. That's kind of nuts, man. So do I just let him go here? Maybe. We'd have to sign Christensen. Maybe I do. He's been a fucking letdown. Now, Vasyanov is actually worse potential, but he's only two overall under. Yeah, I'm going to sign Christensen, obviously. I think I'm just going to let Leanders. Ah, the thing is, he might jump. I'm going to tender him. He may accept and just take the uh, qualifying offer. We'll have to decide who sits at that point, but I'm not quite ready. 
Because obviously Doge Dom won't be here forever. We got him for two years. Might even trade him on this last year, depending on McGratton. And whoever can possibly back up, but yeah, we're gonna see how these guys rotate in whatever way. Did Doge Dom yeah, he lost his X Factor. <laughs> so he does great in the playoffs. That's still the part of the reason I want to hold on to him, even as a backup through the regular season. He could be someone I turn to in the playoffs. Because he's done fantastic in the postseason. I'm going to advance again. Lindstein's a tricky one. We can go him. Really, Tucker? Alright, fine. You get a million. But it's only going to be for one year. Come on, dude. Yeah, we have a lot of guys, so I'm going to let go of Kaskimeki. Uh, I'm going to check on my defenseman to see if I can indeed let one of them go. I'm just going to count who signed, honestly. Uh, we're missing Buck. Well, I'll count even the guys under contract because they're counting right now. Nine. Wait, was it to Buckinger? Or? No, it was Santa Body. <laughs> Nine, ten, eleven, will be twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, we can let go of Burns. Because I'd rather keep. Well, yeah, the thing about Lindstein, though, is he's, he and Saprikin really cannot play together, we've, as we've seen. It's not going to show me, is it? Unless I completely revamp the coaches, which I, I might. But also, I don't know. Anyway, we'll let go of Burns. Hold on to the others. Hold on to Buckinger. We'll just do one year for him. He's pretty much done growing. Oh, he wants a one-way. Huh. Well, he'll be buried anyway, so... We can afford Lindstein. For one year. He can play in the top six as he is. Now... We may have someone other than Saprikin there, unless Saprikin shows me. Yeah, you know, I don't know, though. I'm going to qualify him at 4 mil, see if he'll accept that, because it'll only be for a year. I want to see where if if some jumps occur. That's why I'm trying to hold off on some of the, uh, the goalie, etc., everything. All right, I think that's it. Besides so Tucker, obviously. Can he sign? There he is. We got Buckinger, so it's just tendered Lindstein and tendered Leanders left. And that's what we got. Okay. Let us get up the free agency now. Okay, yeah, so he just accepted his qualifying. So that's fine. We'll have to decide who sits by the time the season starts. Again, really wish you could have ECHL, but, you know. Cannot. All right, big, big, big extension here. Thomas is up. Kairu is up. Well, not up yet, but end of this season. Now, Kairu is declining. He should have the stat growth to keep him around. And he's got insane X-Factors. But I'm not going to go too, too high up with him, obviously. But we're going to keep him around. Because you need veterans. Let's see what he wants. It's up there. 100% keeping Thomas, though. That's, what? Not giving you that long, sir. I'll give you like five years. And I'll take him up till he's like 36, essentially. It's a bit of money. 
but it'll be around what he's making right now. So let's actually see what that is. It is, yeah, 8627, so 865. Yep, I'd do that. Absolutely. Kyru will do shorter term. Uh, Dvorsky is demoralized. But I'm going to get him to a two-year because it's a pretty decent price. And it's, yeah, three mil flat. It's a little bit of an upgrade, but he deserves it. Uh, Tuomala does not want an extension. Pretty damn good two-way. Shano wants to come back, baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, I'll get out of here. Oh, that's a bit expensive, though. We'll wait on him. Stan Betty does not. Yeah, it makes sense. He's getting. He might be pushing locker room chemistry down by this point. Ah, we're running out of guys listed as depth. Oh, fuck me. Ott is out of X Factors. And that, dude. We've had some big, big letdowns. Mostly Ott. But also Farmer. A little bit. Might even just move on from him. Like, ugh. How you oh my god, how do you trade that? He has to play fourth line right now. But the dude just never... Yeah. He never got to where they needed to be, dude. I don't know what else to tell you. Spreakin wants an extension. Let's see what it's saying for him. That doesn't bode well. I'm holding off on giving him an extension. Show me some fucking growth, dude. McGratton. This might be tricky. It's not that bad. Okay. That's a lot. And bouncing up, which means, yeah, he's going to get better. I'm not signing him to that. I'll give him the two years, absolutely. He's... UFA no matter what, so it's going to be, we're going to be signing anywhere from two to four years. Uh, I don't like signing goaltenders longer than that. That's just a personal preference. Because all of a sudden they suck and you're stuck with an awful contract. That's just too big of a jump from two to three years, I think. Yep. We'll get him for four, seven, seven, five for two years after this one. And then by that point, we'll know exactly what he is, and hopefully we'll know how he performs in the playoffs. As you need that, you need playoff performers. All right, that's all I'll do in the way of extensions for now, I think. Sten Betty, we just, I don't think we could justify using him as depth again. It really sucks, because he's a tremendous depth piece, but he stopped being listed as depth all... <laughs> He got to that, like, it's it's both based on overall, but also age, that changes people's uh, roles. And also quality, I think, of rosters. I think there's a variety of factors. But I always notice the older that they get, then they start demanding more ice time. Alright, so, we will take a look at what's available in free agency. Not sure if we're making any moves. Tage Thompson's there, Forsberg, Slavkovsky. I'm still waiting on Kairu. There's no, literally no playmaker, so. Yeah. I'll take Kairu very, very slow. Because he is starting to decline quite early. We'll give him a, literally a one-year extension. Because he could honestly fall off a cliff very fast. But I know I'm going to keep him around for at least one more year after this. He could play second line. Maybe we'll keep him around longer. He goes to third eventually. Who knows? But with the way he has performed year in, year out, I'm getting him for one more year. We already did one year for Wenski, so we can't sign him now. So yeah, that'll be that.
And uh, we got a holdout in Lindstein. And he, uh, I'm kind of hoping he doesn't get offered anything because I'm trying to see some jumps here. But maybe I'll just take the compensation if he does. All right, so that will do it. Let me know what you thought about the draft and uh, any future plans that you may have for this team. I will take into consideration. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.